Hello and welcome to you all. Today in this video we will see how to place a jumper wire when the traces are getting overlapped and how to draw the red lines in Isidia software. Sometimes you may find that the tracks are getting overlapped for a single side PCB. Uh, for the, in this case, in here you can see that uh, in this terminal of the resistance should be connected with this terminal of this IC E1. Okay, the uh, pin number three of IC E1 should be should be uh, connected with the with this uh, with this terminal of the R4 register. So here we will not be able to place the jump on the place the tracks from here to here. So what we have to do is we have to put the pads. Okay, we have to put the pads. Suppose I will place the pads over here. And here, okay. Here I will get these pads are placed to place a jumper wire. And I place the pads over here and here. Now, if we want to, if I want to put the tracks, this is a single layer PCB. In the top layer, I place the components, and in the bottom layer, I will draw the uh, tracks. Okay. So here to here I want to connect to the track and but you can see that the tracks are not getting connected with these pads okay? because these pads are not defined with the net specific net so that these tracks are not getting connected with this terminal of this IC okay? so you have to draw the red lines okay? red line layer is there so if I want to red lines if I want to draw this red line See, we are connect pad to pad. The shortcut command of this is O. So we have to draw the red lines. That means the connection we have to specify. This connection was not specified in the uh, in the schematic. So I have to mention these pads. So pads should be connected uh, with this terminal of this IC. So I have to draw the red lines. And from here to here also I have to draw specify. This is the connection. And from here to here also. Now I will be able to put the tracks from here to here, here to here, okay, and here to here. Now I have to manually place the short conducting wire from here to here to connect this terminal up to this point, and as these two pads are connected internally with the traces, so I have to again put the short conducting wire, short length of conducting wire from here to here so that the current will be able to flow from this path to up to this point, up to this terminal okay. so the red lines are drawn in the red lines uh, layer and now I have to put the jumper lines but here uh, as I draw as I draw this uh, schematic and as I net prepared this PCB design so I know that the, where the jumper wire should be placed but if a person who doesn't know uh, and who is going to be assemble the components of the PCB he will not be able to know from where to where the jumper wire should be placed so in that case you have to uh, specify where the jumper wire should be placed so we can draw a track from here to here in the top layer okay. in the top layer I have to place the jumper wire I have to draw the tracks okay but here you can again see you can see that the jumper in the tracks are not getting connected with this pad to pad because you can see this is the this is specified that the these pads are, uh, are connected with the net and it is u1 underscore 3 okay. so i'm going to copy this one and again i'm going to place c these pads are mentioned as in dollar uh, 420 this is the net value net number so i'm going to place this okay the red lines are going to be connected automatically by space with the net name okay. and again if I specify um, see now if I just going to place in the top layer to place the connection it is getting connected but again here also the same thing is happening see this is u123 and is this is u123 but this one is again I have to change this uh, net name okay now this is going to be connected this is connected 
but this is as this is a single layer PCB so I will not be able to place the uh, proper track on the top layer but this is what I designed because uh, to show these lines uh, to the person who is going, going, going to assemble the components over here so I will change if I keep this uh, in the top layer this will be printed but I should change this track from top layer to top seat layer so that this is uh, this will be marked on the uh, PCB by the screen printing okay so you can also put it in the masking layer also but uh, I'm going to place this in the top seat layer and this one also So when I place this track in the top seat layer, see the color has changed automatically to yellow from the red. Okay. So when we just print in the top layer of this PCB, uh, this U1, the outer line of this uh, IC will be drawn over here and the register and LED capacitors will be um, drawn over on the top side of the PCB. So here uh, along with these outlines, also the jumper will the a line will be drawn here to here and here to here uh, to mention that uh, to show the show that the here I have to place a jumper wire that is a short uh, length of conducting wire should be placed here this is to uh, this is going to be this is very uh, easy to understand for the person who is really going to be assembling the components of the PC this is basically nothing but to just uh, show that the here a components will be placed that what is the component that the and short length of connecting wire will be placed here. So this is how the jumper wires are placed in the GS AZD support. And you can also find the jumpers in the library, but it will not will not get it in the LCSC library or workspace LCSC assembly. But here you will you get you will find these things in the user configured uh, file okay. like this. Okay. The yellow lines are there. If I place it over here, see the same things is done. You can see, you can see that so, but you will not be able to change the length of the conducting line. But yeah, you can also change, but it will be quite difficult. You have to replace uh, parts, but it will be quite easy. The same thing has drawn over here, but this in the this will be quite easy to draw as per the length required as per the length required to jump the traces in your design in some other softwares in, the, in some other design design software you will, you will find a jumper command in the toolbox directly but in easy software it is not available but it is quite easy to make it as per your own requirement in, the, in, your, in your design okay The, the if you take the jumper from the libraries but it will be difficult in some other software also it is quite difficult to change the length of the jumpers like here i make a uh, make this jumper of length of 8 8 millimeter round about and here in this here i make it a round about uh, 6 millimeter so as per your become you can uh, put the jumpers you can also make any length of jumpers as per your requirement but if you uh, take the if you take the jumpers from the libraries, it will be quite difficult to change the length in your design because you have created the parts and then you have set that uh, parts uh, library folder. Then you can be able to use that jumpers. And every time you have to change, edit the length as per your requirement. But in this case, you will be able to find uh, if you will you will be able to draw any length of jumper wires. And no tracks will be there on the top layer, okay? Because as I uh, change these uh, lines, this track. And as I convert this track to the uh, still clear, so this track will now become a just like a simple drawing on the PCB. So this is now not a track, and this is now a simple drawing. A line I have drawn like this on the top layer, and this will be printed printed in 
and only these outlines of the components on the top screen, top screen layer by using the screen editor.